So today's workout is an upper body circuit. The goal of this workout is to increase muscle definition and strength in the upper body. I love pairing circuits together because unlike pairing simply muscle groups, you're really placing a different type of stress on the body. So from going from a push-up into a dip, similar muscle groups, but performing those exercises back to back in a circuit just stresses the body in a completely different way than it's normally used, which is why workouts like this work so effectively for busting through plateaus and really making a difference in muscle definition in even the first week. Five exercises for today's workout are push up to freak, half burpee pull up, body weight dip, bicep curl to overhead press, and a Bosu plank push up. For today's workout, you're gonna be performing five exercises for 30 seconds apiece with no rest in between exercises, and you're gonna perform the total circuit three times. For the first exercise, you're gonna wrap a resistance band around a stable source, and you're gonna get down on the ground in your normal push-up position, holding the resistance bands in both hands. If you do not have a resistance band, you can perform this exercise using just body weight. You're gonna perform one rep of a push-up, and then bring one arm up like you would a front delt raise. Go back down into a push-up and do the same thing on the other side. My tips for this exercise are to make sure that your core stability is on point. So you don't want your stomach to come down to the ground as you're performing the push-up and coming down to the ground. If this exercise is too difficult for you to perform with perfect form, then feel free to go to your knees and perform the exercise that way. Also, with this exercise, if your wrists begin to bother you because you are holding the ends of resistance bands, feel free to do this with one arm at a time. So you would hold the resistance band only in one hand, the other hand would be freed up, and do 15 seconds on each side. With the half burpee pull-up, the thing you really want to stay aware of is the way that you're positioning your feet under your body when you're doing the burpee portion of the exercise. You want to be keeping your core really stable and contracted. So when you bring your feet in, you can get them in quickly and make sure you're pulling them right under your body and again, standing up, trying to place the majority of the weight in your heels so that when you explode off the ground, you're not putting pressure in your knees. Once you're in the pull-up portion of the exercise, you really want to make sure that your core is stable because as you're coming up off the ground, you have a lot of momentum working against you to get up to that machine and to do the pull-up without sliding everywhere. You're really going to have to keep your core contracted. This exercise is actually great for people who aren't super skilled with pull-ups because you do have a lot of momentum already doing a portion of the work for you. So if you're somebody that's looking to master pull-ups, this is a great exercise to help you with that and improve your conditioning. So with a body weight dip, the most important thing that you need to do is make sure that you are not coming down past 90 degrees. You can do this exercise using a different variation of angles, but the most important thing is to not break that 90 degree angle because that does place a lot of stress on the joint, which you do not want. So when you perform this exercise, you need to have your feet all the way out in front of your body. Do not scoot your feet in so you're in kind of a weird chair position with your body. Even if you can only perform five reps at a time in this position and rest, that's better than performing it incorrectly. So when you're doing your bicep curls to overhead press, the two major things that you really need to be aware of are not using your own body movement to perform the bicep portion of the exercise. If you need to swing your body, you need to lower the weight. That's number one. Number two is you, when you're performing the overhead press, if you are standing up, it's very important that you're keeping your core stable and that your feet are shoulder width apart. If this exercise you find does place stress on your back, you can perform it sitting down. I like to perform overhead press standing up just because of what it does to the core. It really places a lot of stress on the core, but for that reason, you need to make sure that you're engaging your core while doing this.
The Bozu Plank Push-Up is a great exercise for defining the triceps without spending hours on tricep extensions. It's also an explosive exercise, which I love for upper body because anything explosive is gonna work fast twitch, and fast twitch, as we know, builds muscle and engages the tissue responsible for muscle definition. This exercise, you need to be very aware again of your spine alignment. Your back should be completely flat. You should not be sinking down to the ground while you're doing this. If this exercise is too hard for you to perform in an explosive manner, simply walk your hands up the ball until you're strong enough to do it explosively. This workout can be implemented into a split one day a week just to throw your body a curveball, or it can again become kind of the main focus of your upper body workouts for a total of four to six weeks. With clients that I work with, I like to do it both ways. So I may use this as something that we build a foundation upon for three or four weeks, and then I'll split into a, you know, a circuit training upper body workout once a week on top of everything else that they're doing just to keep their body guessing what's coming next. For more videos or articles like this from me and my entire Clutch Body Shop team, keep coming right back here to bodybuilding.com.